What's up guys, Radon Sports News, and today we're just going to be talking about, like, hell, why is the NFL so fucking fixed and rigged? It's almost unfucking watchable at times. I mean, shit, I I'm watching the first game today, the, the Niners and Eagles, and it's like, I was thinking, like, holy fuck, this game, this game clearly, like, like so something's wrong here. It just doesn't have a right feeling about it. And then I watched the second game with the Bengals and Chiefs, and I'm like, wow, that might have been the most rigged game since the Viking Saints Minneapolis Miracle game. It, it just it just blew me away how blatantly bad the rest were, and everybody just <laughs> Tony Romo and Jim Nance are they're laughing about it, they're having a good time. Everybody's just holy shit, this is fucking crazy. They're bad, but <laughs> it's real funny. No. Can we stop making this a joke and hold them fucking accountable for this shit? Because clearly it's fixed. And the only reason why we can't hold these refs accountable is because it is fixed. And the NFL is in on it. Everybody's fucking in on it. It's an entertainment business. We fucking know this. This isn't, you know, like the first thing, like, holy shit, the NFL is only for entertainment. We've always fucking known this. They're, they don't hide from it. Now let's just break down into the fucking evidence here. Let's see why the games were rigged. We start off with the Niners and Eagles. And you know what? I was thinking, you know, like I said at the beginning of the video, was this game, like, this game was really rigged. And then you watch the second one, like, holy fuck. It all started off, the Eagles come out, you know, they, they're struggling a little bit on offense, but then they, they find a little bit of rhythm. And then they get stopped on third down. They got to go for it for fourth down. Early in the game, they're like, shit, let's just go for it. Because what is there to lose? It's a good play. I liked it. Jalen Hurts decides, heave it up to Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith comes down one hand. It looks fucking insane. He clearly dropped it. I mean, the ball's fucking on the turf rolling around. I mean, you saw more of the ball on the turf than you did the grass. I mean, it was clear as day. The ball was down. It wasn't a catch. The referees on the other side of the field, their only job is to see if he catches it. That's their only job. They don't have nothing else to do. They don't have to monitor the fans. They don't have to see, hey, what's going on over here? No, there's other referees around the field that have to monitor other things. But the referees that are down towards the end zone, their only job is to see, holy fuck, is he going to make this catch? Did he make the catch? And wow, did they fuck that shit up. Because then you have the, the back judge that was back there. He said, well, I, I didn't really see it. Okay, I understand that. From behind, it was a tough ball to see. But what about the guy standing right fucking in front of it? He's looking at that and he said, good fucking catch. The guy belongs at a fucking mental institution. I mean, what, what does he think a catch is? Eagles ended up scoring a touchdown, put all the momentum on the Philadelphia Eagles. Now the Niners got to come out. They're down 7 nothing already. It's like, holy fuck. Okay, the Eagles scored. But we're a good offense, too. We can do this, right? Brock Purdy comes out. They're looking good. They're driving down the field. Boom. Strip sack. Ends up getting hurt. And you're like, shit. Uh, th this is a fucking problem. Like, But, like... You look at it, and you're like, oh, okay, he, he didn't get hit that bad. Like, he, he's okay. He, he only got tapped on the arm. He fumbled it a little bit. Yeah, there's a little bit of push with it. But, I mean, hell, we saw Josh Allen take a much harder hit earlier in the year, especially almost looking the exact same. Ended up finishing the game. He ended up playing out. He never missed any time. He's just fine. So, Brock Purdy can certainly do this. Like, it's okay. No. Brock Purdy could not. All of a sudden... Brock Purdy, everything that made Brock Purdy so special, the toughness, the never count me out, the, uh, you know, I don't give a shit, I'm getting this fucking shit done. Brock Purdy has lost all of that, all of a sudden, goes up to his head coach and mouths the words, I can't throw. The fuck you mean you can't throw? This is the championship game. Are you telling me you're fucking benching yourself? I saw the fucking play. You're not you're not benching yourself. Yes, I am. How much money were you fucking paid? 
There is no goddamn way any quarterback worth a damn, especially with with a guy who who says he's he's this tough, he's this resilient. The I don't give a fuck. I don't care how much you doubt me out. I'm gonna prove you wrong. Okay, we doubted you out. We doubted you. You're you're gonna get. Uh, I'm not gonna fucking play. What the hell was that? And then so like, like it's just all of a sudden. And then Brock Purdy gets hurt. Fred Warner gets hurt. He misses a couple plays. He's in and out of the game. Nick Bosa all of a sudden has a little bit of an injury. He's missing in and out of the game. And it's like, well, this doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, like all of a sudden, the only players that got the Niners to this place, they're all leaving the game. The fuck is going on here? And then they bring in Josh Johnson. He looks okay. He looks like he's driving down the field. He feels like he's comfortable in the offense. This fucking XFL reject. All of a sudden, he's like, okay, make a few passes. And then he takes a snap. And he misses the snap. Okay, that happens. That, uh, even the best quarterbacks like miss that. That's fine. But n- nobody's around him for like a five-yard vicinity. And then he just decides, oh shit, I should probably hop on this ball. He goes to hop on it. And he just mentally has a breakdown. And he starts playing with it like a cat with a toy. He, he just He doesn't seem to comprehend. He's got two hands and he can grab the ball. He just couldn't comprehend that. And I don't know if that's the XFLness in him. I don't know if that's just he never graduated elementary school. I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe he just got told not to pick up the ball. Crazy fucking thought there. Um, but yeah, uh, he just fucking never picked up the ball. That was the end of the second quarter. The Eagles ended up scoring another touchdown. Momentum was completely gone. Josh Johnson ends up leaving the game with a concussion. Brock Purdy comes in. He says, I can't feel my fucking hand. More like you can't feel your fucking vagina, you fucking pussy. And, uh, yeah. All of a sudden, the Niners, they don't throw a fucking pass with Purdy. The whole second half, I think they threw, like, one. And it's just, like, what the fuck happened? The Niners were were a, a powerhouse, averaging 35 points a game. Defense was number one. Uh, they're going up against the Eagles that... Honestly, haven't been playing that great. I mean, they had a cupcake schedule. You you had a big game against the rebuilding Giants. Big fucking whoop there. Uh, yeah, and you like no, that doesn't fucking add up. But you know what? After all that, that doesn't even compare to the fucking Bengals Chiefs game. I mean, let, let's just start off first drive. <laughs> Can we do that? Start off first drive. Um, the Bengals, they're they're driving down the field. They're having a good good run. Uh, Joe Burrow's going back. All of a sudden, it's a, it was like third and four. And he runs up. He starts running. He gets the first down. It's like, holy shit. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Ref comes out and says, uh, pre-snap penalty. There was a, there was a false start. Uh, replay. What? If it's a pre-fucking-snap penalty, it is your job to stop the play before the snap. That that is the whole term of pre-snap penalty. He goes ahead, does no whistles blowing. He's not running out on the field, nothing. He goes ahead, he says, eh, let me see this play play out. Maybe Burrow gets hurt and we don't have to do shit about it. Burrow goes out there, rushes for the first down. Everybody's celebrating. They're getting lined up. They're ready for the next play. And the ref comes out. And yeah, pre-snap penalty. Uh, bring this shit back. We don't want you getting the first down. Bring it back. What? Next play, Burrow gets sacked. They have to punt the ball away. They're at midfield. They had fucking momentum. They're about to score first. And we all know when the Bengals score first, Burrow doesn't fucking lose. But, hey. <laughs> You guarantee the refs knew that. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on to the game. I, I mean, there was just so much shit. You know, every time the Bengals got fucking going, a holding call was brought back. And you guarantee every time the Bengals had a play going, called back. Every time the Chiefs got a play going, eh, let them play ball. Yeah, that was a little bit of holding, a little bit of a push-up. Let them play ball. What? 
You gotta hold the same fucking standard for both teams, you fucking idiots. I mean, holy fucking shit. And then later on in the game, I mean, we'll skip two fucking quarters of Rigness, and then we're gonna go right to the fucking fourth quarter. And let's talk about this fucking uh, uh, third and nine. Third and nine, maybe, I, I think it was like eight minutes left. Chiefs go back. All right, throw it. Boom. Caught. Tackled immediately. Fourth and four. All right. Everybody's jogging off the field. Oh, the punter's jogging out of the field. They ended up calling it back. They they said beforehand, because before that play, they ended up calling back, you know, let's reset the play clock. Uh, the play clock's not right. Reset it to 10 seconds. Make sure that clock's at 1029. We'll run it on my counter. That's what he said. Okay, great. They did that. Boom. Didn't get the play. Punter starts jogging on. Referee comes back out. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's not what I meant. What the fuck do you mean that's not what you meant? He said, initially we, we were supposed to completely blow the play dead and, and rerun the whole damn thing. We're going to do a redo on the play. You're running a redo on the play because they didn't fucking get the first down. The fuck do you mean? There is no point in NFL history have we ever seen a redo on a fucking play. A redo. The fuck are you talking about? That's the referee's fault. That's not the player's fault. That's not either team's fault. That is the referee. Okay, I fucked it up. Wait a second. We got to go back in time. I understand they ran a play. If it was a, a, a whole thing where they weren't supposed to run the play, why did you never blow the fucking play dead? Why did you never do it? At any time, you could have said, shit, 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 stop running the play. Stop. Wh whistle, whistle. Whoa, whoa, we're done, we're done. No. You let the play roll. You say, yeah, they're going to get a first down on us. If not, we'll just pull the play. It's all right. We'll give them a first down and anyway. it's all good. Because in the next play, they said, all right, we'll give you a redo. They didn't get it again. But then they call a holding on Eli Apple. Now, granted, it was a hold. I don't think anybody's going to you know, disagree that it was a hold. Eli Apple's a fucking idiot. Eventually, he's going to fuck up. I think the referee knew that. He's an NFL, the New York Giants reject, former first-round pick, piece of dog shit. He's retarded. Uh, and you know what? They finally got him. They said, all right, hold him. 10-yard penalty, automatic first down. Wow. And then eventually, yeah, the Chiefs ended up punting on that drive. But the Bengals lost a lot of time and momentum to use on that drive. Took a lot out of them because they're like, well, what the fuck? Like, it's us versus the fucking refs. This isn't right. Well, the NFL doesn't give a fucking shit. Then later on, uh, last drive Burrow has... He's going down. He's about to get sacked. Just wires one into the ground. It's in the vicinity of Samaj P. Ryan. Shouldn't be a problem, right? It's only within five yards. You're good. Fucking wrong. The referees say intentional grounding. There's no receivers in the area. The receivers are on the other side. Samaj P. Ryan. I understand he's a fucking running back, but he's a very, he's a fucking receiver in that situation. Are you guys so fucking delusional? You can't understand. That the running back was a fucking eligible receiver in that situation. That was the whole fucking plan. He wasn't a blocker. He was down the field, past the line of scrimmage. He was a fucking receiver. The ball was within five yards of him. And you didn't... You, you fucking call an intentional grounding? Oh my god. Unfucking believable Everybody's just like laughing about this. Like, <laughs> oh man, these guys... It, these guys are funny. No, they're not funny. They're fucking rigging the game right in fucking front of your face. You guys don't care. I wanted to see a good, clean game today from both games. Nobody cares. They're just laughing about it. Oh, this is a great time. It's not a great time. I want to see real fucking football. Not fucking fix shit because the refs have money on a certain fucking team. And then, and then later on, the Chiefs are driving down the field. Patrick Mahomes trying to run for a first down. He's staying in bounds. He's staying in bounds. Staying in bounds. 
He goes, eh, one little hit, boom. He knows he was going to get hit. He stepped out of bounds with one foot, got blasted. He stepped right out of bounds at the last fucking second. The guy's running full fucking speed at him. He's a 300-pound fucking D-lineman slash lineman. He's pushing him. He didn't mean the fuck. He's not trying to hit him out of bounds. It wasn't egregious. If it was, he fucking would have grabbed him, wrapped him, flung his fucking head against the fucking bench, and knocked him the fuck out clean if he wanted to fucking hurt him. He hit him with his goddamn shoulder because he thought he was still staying in bounds, which he was fucking trying to do. And you call it, ah, oh, necessary roughness. No, you guys are fucking clowns. And then you have Harrison Bucker kicks the game when he field goal. Oh my God, Chiefs Eagles, brother against brother. And you read going against the Eagles. This is fucking great. The Travis Kelsey and Jason Kelsey podcast is going to be bumping. No. That was a fucking fixed championship game weekend, and I am disgusted, absolutely disgusted with the NFL. And boy fucking howdy, I'm not watching that fucking Super Bowl because you're not going to get my fucking money. You guys are absolutely retarded. There's nobody with any bit of brain cells that could have watched those games and said, those are some good, clean games. No, you guys are fucking retarded. That's the end of the video. I got nothing else to say. Uh, thank you for watching. If you uh, have any comments about the fixed game or if you have just seem to run out of brain cells and think that those were good, clean games, please leave it down in the comments. I'd love to read everything. and let, Let's discuss. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching. <sighs> have a good weekend.